Jpay Shimogu here with another video. I got this video for you all today, and it's basically to talk about Craigslist and their paid services. Uh, basically, being able to pay for your ads. A lot of times, since we, since Craigslist for one has changed up how they have been doing their promoting and charging for their services now, um, there are some gigs or some uh, categories that you can actually place into for free which I found to be like the community um, ads, but you have to be careful when doing that because if you post something in there that is not for community and is not necessarily free, or especially along those specific guidelines, then it will be flagged for removal. Now this video is for those of you who are paying for your paid ads to be on Craigslist. Uh, me, myself, I had used Craigslist for a number of years up until they started charging. Then when they started charging, I was paying for those ads and I actually ended up having so many ads paid that I spent a good amount of money on them. And they worked. I've actually had showed other videos where you can actually look at and check to see where and the ads that I had paid for and the leads that I was getting for those paid ads. Um, also, what I'm actually going to help you guys out with is sometimes you might notice when you are creating an ad account for those of you, because I've, 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 like I said, I use Craze all the time. So I've had accounts that have been shut down. I've had accounts that have come back up. So there's many different ways that you can go about getting your leads, getting people to reach out to you for whatever services that you have to offer and those types of things. So with me, what I've noticed is that with you, of course, you cannot, unless you are using different IP addresses, but you cannot post in various different states, various different cities that are not in your area of where you are actually current, I mean, currently residing at that moment. So what I have noticed is to be careful in doing that, for one. And for two, when you get your account shut down, any cards that you had actually used to pay, to purchase ads with Craigslist, they will automatically be declined if you use them on another account for future ads. All right. So if you say you have, you have a bank account that's a debit card and you use them on one account, and that account has been shut down and temporarily frozen, so any cards you had used for that account is actually going to be shut down. Uh, any cards is going to be declined rather. So you won't be able to use it to purchase more ads. So in other ways, you'll actually be reverting to doing what I currently also still do is responding to Craigslist alerts. And that's basically setting up an alert on uh, Craigslist searches, getting them to send them to, directly to your email address. And then from there, it goes to go respond by sending them whatever information that you're trying to send them. Okay? Well, that's another way. Now, I'm going to show you if you have that situation that's happened with you where you have used several different credit cards, several different cards, and now none of them are working, you can actually sign up with these two companies that I currently use myself and be able to use those to purchase your ads, okay? Now, the first company is called Simple. I've talked about this on the previous video that I've had, and this is basically an online bank. Now, I haven't found any physical locations as of yet, but this works as a an actual online bank account. So you won't be worried. You won't have to be worried about it being used as a prepaid card because it's not recognized as one. So instead, you can actually create your account for free. You sign up. Go ahead and log in after you have signed up. Put all your information in. They send you a card in within 10 days, and you'll be able to actually start moving money to that account. Now, another great thing about Simple is that you can also get referral money from it. So if somebody go ahead and gets their card through Simple using your link then and they make their first deposit or get their first um, bank deposit into that account then you also be able to earn twenty dollars per person that does so but for the purpose of this video this is solely so that you can add money on the card and use it for Craigslist ads and again you never want to overuse any type of method so be careful when doing this at all times um, if, if you had already had one account shut down like for me I have several different Craigslist accounts so a couple of them I don't currently use anymore, but I have others that I do use. So the ones that I don't use anymore, I'm very careful to not, to not duplicate those same methods that I used in those previous accounts in the current ones. So that's something that you also want to take, take heed to as well. Um, like I said, simple is, is free and it's very simple to use. It basically, you can actually go through this whole website and it tells you how you can actually use it. It's basically a different, uh, a separate bank account. And you can actually connect this to your, um, your nine to five if you have direct deposit coming in in that every week or every two weeks now with me I actually do use this and I connect this with a lot of, of the other apps um, you guys know as far as Dosh I have digit app um, and you just connect those with that so that way you can make money off of it because if you get it swiped 
somewhere you go to a restaurant you could actually use that and get cash back for it and make money off of that as well and you could also say make money and spend and send it to a, a do not spend account right so that way you won't have to you will actually be able to save money on that same account too so there's a lot of different things you can do with it and they don't charge you to do any of it there's no minimum deposit or anything like that you just sign up for the account get put your information and wait for your card to come in and they also have a great app which I personally use myself and that way I can check up with what I'm actually doing and using for it and all of my uh, my balances I can keep up with those as well so take a second and sign up for it and let me know what you guys think and that's just for the simple um, card simple bank really now the next one is Chase with Chase uh, with the Chase card what I actually I use this um, for my uh, my work as well uh, I had a couple of jobs uh, the job I had beforehand was actually connected to simple and my checks was coming in on that every other week with Chase I use that with my current one so I get their, my direct deposit coming to that every week so I also will be I use that for my pay my payments that I get through PayPal so every time I get a payment through PayPal for my other services like I do graphic designs and stuff so that whenever I get any kind of penny or money for that I transfer that money straight to my Chase account and it goes right in. As you all know, if you are submitting any kind of payment that goes directly without actually having to wait for that wait a business one business day, they will take out one percent. But it's really not that big. Like if I send a hundred dollars, they might take like uh, uh, maybe a dollar or something like a couple of dollars, something to that effect. But it's one percent. So and the same thing would go if uh, you wanted to do it. So wait that business day, then it's a free transfer. Okay, let me go ahead and refresh this right quick. So with this with Chase account, you can actually click on my link at the bottom, and it'll also show you how you can set up your account with them as well. You can create any type of account. Um, I would suggest if you're getting, not getting started, just create something simple. Get you a free checking account, and go ahead and get you a savings account attached to it. Now Chase also has their own incentives. To where if you sign up with them that you will also be able to receive three hundred dollars in your first ten days of you actually getting a direct deposit put into your account so if say you are working at a current job right now or you have other money coming in and regularly then you can actually set up chase to receive that money to come in and what they will do is actually send you three hundred dollars within the next ten days I have a video about that as well so you can check that out so this and simple are very different various different ways that you can actually go about um, earning money for one and using them to connect to your Craigslist account so that way you can actually continuously get your paid as paid for and as you can see with Chase if you have checks that you can mainly deposit you can automatically deposit those I've used that option that was pretty cool um, and also just having different ways to pay I've also had money sent through me through Zelle so you will also have that option as well and you can use it to check your credit score which I keep my keep an eye on mine pretty frequently because of Chase so that automatically comes in with yours so it's a lot of different benefits that you will have to have and again neither one of these you actually have to pay for anything up front so that we can actually use them they are just there for you to be able to do what things you want to do without being hindered to do them so again if you're on Craigslist and you want to be able to actually purchase your ads without having any issues go ahead and sign up for simple go ahead and sign up for Chase now once you those cards come in make sure that you activate it put some money on them obviously so that way you can actually go ahead and make and actually um, start paying for your ads without having any issues and as always try if you're gonna use this method which of course is, I don't think it's a bad it's a bad idea to go with but if you're gonna do it go ahead and start with one card wait a few days really wait about a week all right and then see how that works and again stay around if you're using the same IP address stay in your same area as well as the same state because if you start going from one state to the next from Georgia to California to Montana to Texas practice is going to shut you down that's flat out so you want to make sure that you're smart so that way if this card is, is deactivated because of you because of you not using it correctly you also have another card to use on another account alright so I hope this made some sense and helped you guys out to understand how you can do that to be able to get more leads for your businesses and also be able to have more ways to Save your money because, as you guys know, PayPal are shutting down accounts if you are not doing things the right way, too. And I have a video for that. 
So let me know what you guys think about this and check out all the links I have in, the, in this video and I will talk to you guys on the next one. All right, y'all have a great one.